Now we've covered beats and bars so far in the course. And if you remember correctly, in most house and techno and popular music, there are four beats per bar. Now there is also something called phrasing. Essentially what this is, is dividing your track into what's known as phrases, and each phrase contains a certain number of bars. Now just like there tends to be four beats per bar in most popular music, there also tends to be eight bars per phrase. But I do want to elaborate on this because if you read up on phrasing in traditional music theory, what you'll learn is that a new phrase is when you begin a new musical section, even if it's got nothing to do with conforming to a specific number of bars. Now, what this means is that every eight bars, something is going to change in your track. That doesn't mean it always happens. In fact, in a lot of minimal music, there might be 16 bar phrases. So every 16 bars, something changes. But more often than not, it's every eight bars. So I've got a couple of tracks here to use as examples. I've already soloed the first track. We're just going to listen from the beginning and see what happens after eight bars and then after another eight bars. So here is bar one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you notice, you would only notice this really if you've got a good musical ear, the actual chord progression that it was playing did a round trip and then came home meaning it went up by a few semitones and then it came back down to the root chord of the chord progression. Now let's listen from here and let's count another eight bars and see what happens then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, one. Okay, so at the beginning of bar 17, we had a fairly substantial change musically. The piano was introduced actually just before as a little teaser, but then the whole phrase was introduced, so the beginning of that part of the arrangement. You may have also noticed halfway through this phrase, four bars in, the hi-hat came in. Now, this is also something commonly done in which Halfway through a phrase, something is introduced that isn't quite as powerful or impactful as the end of the phrase. Have a listen once more. So four bars in, hi-hats, he's in the piano, and new phrase. Now let's go to our next example, see what happens there. So I'm going to press play from the beginning. I'm going to count the bars so you know where we're at in the phrase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So we had a little vocal and then some percussion came in. Five, six, seven, eight, one. And now we have the claps come in. Seven, eight. Now we've got the hi-hats that just came in at the beginning of the fourth phrase. Eight, two, three, four, one. And then the first drop came in. Fantastic. So you saw how the whole track has been structured in eight bar phrases. That's just something to keep in mind when you're composing your music and you're making your tracks. As you're building the arrangement of the tracks, 
I try to structure them in a similar manner to other tracks in the genre that you're making. So it would be good to actually download a few of the tracks in the genre you want to build, make music in, bring them into Ableton, make sure you warp them so they're playing back in time with the tempo of your project, and just analyze them. Go through and see how many bars occur before the beginning of each new phrase. It's going to give you a much better understanding of how to structure and arrange your own music.